afternoon, I'm Susie Glasscock with The Pampered Chef, and I'm here in the home of my very good friend, Joni. Cheers, Joni, and thanks for having me today. I want to share with you a few of my very favorite products with The Pampered Chef. Getting started, I want to share the classic batter bowl. This is the smaller one, four cups. You can see all the way to the bottom. Now when you're making pudding and you're mixing it up and you just didn't get all the powder, well, you can see everything with our classic batter bowl. Four cup, nice pour spout, comfortable handle. Once you're done with the pudding or your chicken salad, tuna salad, put the lid on, put it in the refrigerator, and there you go, voila. To partner with this classic batter bowl is our lovely scrapers. And I have two here to show you today, two of my very favorite. This is the mix and scraper, nice comfortable handle, and when you are mixing up any kind of a batter, anything like that, you're gonna get all the way down to the bottom. It doesn't leave much for anybody to lick, so you might have to save a little on the spoon head. The other scraper is the long skinny scraper. This is great for getting to the bottom of jars, getting out the mayo, when you are making up a chicken salad or a tuna salad, you can get all the way to the bottom with that. These um, scrapers are nice and white and to keep them so you can soak them up in a little bit of bleach water and they whiten right back up and look brand new. Something else about these is you can use these on the stove top. If you have a really good nonstick cookware, you can use these up to 650 degrees right on the stove top. They are made of silicone. It's the only silicone I own so far. Mix and scraper, long skinny scraper, matched with one of our, or both batter bowls and lid, is a great gift for anyone, bride-to-be, or maybe just starting out in a new apartment. Remember those items. They make really great gifts. Next I want to show you is our chopper. The chopper has a wonderful reputation with the Pampered Chef. Something that's very important to me is cleanup. Take the collar off, take the guard off, and our Pampered Chef chopper opens right up for easy cleaning. You are going to love the chopper. Assembling it back together, three prongs, and you're just matching them up with the holes right here on the chopper. And when you're using your chopper, you can chop onto the little collar, um, the little um, bottom that it comes with, or right, I like to chop right onto my um, Pampered Chef cutting boards. The cutting boards are awesome. They give with anything that you're using for slicing so it doesn't dull the blade. And when you go to chop, it's an easy fit just like this. Now, if you've had a rough day at work, you might end up with soup. So watch how you're chopping because the more you chop, the finer it gets. So you can make minced onions or you might end up with French onion soup by the time you're done. Now, I'm saving the best for last because this is the deep covered baker with the Pampered Chef, AKA the Magic Pot. And in my life, so busy with three kids, on the go, everybody's gotta be in different places, different times, I use the Magic Pot probably four out of seven days of the week because we really like to grill as well. But last night, I'm gonna kinda do a little air demo for you. Last night, I put a Boston butt roast in the Magic Pot Semi still frozen. I injected a little bit of Creole seasoning butter into the Boston butt. And then I put on Pampered Chef barbecue seasoning as well as the three onion seasoning. Placed it right into the Magic Pot, AKA the deep covered baker by the Pampered Chef. Put the lid on and then I placed it into my microwave for one hour. Absolutely delicious. Fell apart, kids loved it, daddy loved it. Easy to do, easy to clean up, voila. Love sharing these tips with you. And if you need some further shopping, I'd be happy for you to visit my website at www.pamperedchef.biz slash culinary sassy lassie. You'll find all great tips and what's on special this month. And I leave you with, where will Susie be next?